Hi, my name is Patrick Grady, and today I'm presenting on our paper, Visual Pressure Estimation and Control for Soft Robotic Grippers. Robots interact with their environments by applying contact pressure. Understanding the location and magnitude of this pressure is critical for many robotic manipulation tasks. There are many sensors that have been developed to sense pressure for robotic manipulation. While these techniques have seen success, they also have disadvantages. For example, these tactile sensors may be complex, cover a small area, or are fragile. Instead of using physical contact sensors, we investigate using cameras to sense pressure. In comparison to physical pressure sensors, cameras are robust, low cost, and can observe a large area of the robot. However, to sense pressure from vision, there need to be visual cues that indicate the presence of pressure. In our paper, we focus on soft grippers. Our insight is that the soft grippers display subtle but predictable visual cues, such as deformation and changes in the cast shadows due to the application of pressure. A camera can observe these visual cues and infer the pressures that caused these changes. In our paper, we experiment with a soft pneumatic gripper. We also experiment with a tendon actuated gripper included with a stretch RU1 robot. The gripper features soft rubber fingertips supported by spring steel flexures. In this paper, we show that, given images of a soft gripper interacting with a planar surface, a CNN can be used to infer the pressure that the gripper applies. In order to train the CNN, we first collect a training dataset. We develop a rig with four Azure Connect cameras and a Sensil Morph pressure sensor. We collect the dataset with one hour of data for each gripper. Here, we show frames captured from the four cameras and visualize the pressure measurements by projecting them into the image. During collection, the grippers were mounted on a handle that allowed a person to manually operate them. Data was collected under a variety of lighting conditions and gripper positions. Next, we trained VPECnet to estimate pressure based on a single RGB input frame. VPECnet is an encoder-decoder network, and for each input pixel, one output pressure pixel is estimated. We treat pressure estimation as a classification problem where the pressure values are divided into nine bins. We show results on a held-out test set. We find that VPECnet can reliably estimate the pressure exerted by the gripper. We also show results with the pneumatic gripper. We compute a variety of evaluation metrics. In particular, we focus on volumetric IOU. Intuitively, the volumetric IOU views the 2D pressure images as 3D pressure volumes, where the height of the volume is equal to the magnitude of pressure. The intersection over union is then calculated between these 3D volumes. We find that the estimation for the tendon actuated gripper outperforms the pneumatic gripper. We also show that the total force, calculated by integrating the pressure image, closely matches the ground truth measurement. These plots show two sequences from the test set. VPECnet can accurately determine the onset and termination of contact. We also demonstrate that VPEC can be used to control a robot to regulate force. The robot uses a feedback loop to control its position until a target force is achieved as shown on the x-axis. The actual force achieved is shown on the y-axis. We find that VPECnet may be inaccurate at low forces, but is more accurate at higher forces. Next, we demonstrate an application of visual pressure estimation for precision manipulation. 
we program a robot to autonomously pick up a variety of small objects, including a coin, washer, and a microSD card. To program our robot, we take inspirations from how humans grasp small objects. Notice how the person makes contact with the table first, and then they slide their fingertips to grasp the coin. We use a similar technique for the robot. One of the problems that soft grippers face is that their deformability makes them difficult to accurately control. Here, we show that our gripper deflects by 4 centimeters under 5 newtons of force. This makes it hard for the robot to know exactly where its gripper is using kinematics alone. We perform visual servoing to accurately control the robot. First, the robot lowers the gripper until it is in contact with the surface. The robot has a control loop to regulate the amount of pressure by moving the gripper vertically and to move the pressure peaks around the target object. Next, the robot closes the gripper to grasp the object. We test with a set of household objects and show that our technique can be used to reliably grasp small objects. Thank you. Please see our paper for more details.